Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I'm so excited that you're here. I've wanted to start a YouTube channel ever since I was little, and I've always just been pushing it off for one reason or another, and I've decided that this is my year. And so here I am making my first YouTube video. I'm gonna be showing you some of the highlights of my trip to Holland, Georgia. In this video, I'm gonna be going over where we stayed, what we ate, and where we shopped. It's a pretty brief video just going over basically every single thing we did during our three-day trip. We stayed in a cabin, which I can't wait to show you. I had the best time in Helen, but I had so many questions before I went there. I hope this video clears up some of those questions, but please, if you have any more questions, do not hesitate to comment them. A little background about Helen is that it used to be a logging town, and then I think in around the 80s, they transformed it into a German Alpine village. It is super cute around Christmas time, but it is most well known for Oktoberfest. No matter what time of year you go to Helen, there is so much to do and see. I hope what I show you in this video can help your trip go as smoothly as possible. First up, I just wanted to do a quick tour of the cabin that we stayed in during our time in Helen. Our cabin had a full kitchen, a second floor, a living room with a fireplace and a jacuzzi, and we had a back deck that was perfect for taking in the views of the river. We loved sitting out on the back deck and enjoying our morning coffee, and we definitely spent as much time on the back porch as possible. It was such a beautiful place. Next up, we have the upstairs. So upstairs had a bedroom, a bathroom, and a little reading area. It was great because it had a balcony that overlooked the living room downstairs. And the fireplace downstairs was great. It was a gas fireplace with a timer, so we didn't have to worry about turning it off. And we loved cuddling up next to the fireplace. As soon as we checked in and put our bags down, we headed straight into downtown Helm. We entered through this cute little archway with these great lights, and the first shop that we stopped in was Catherine's Corner, where they had beautiful Helen ornaments. Then we started walking around town and really just enjoying all of the Christmas decorations. Fox Winery had a free wine tasting, and then we passed the Village Crepe House and then Hansel and Gretel Candy Company. Then, after that, we headed straight into the square. This was by far my favorite place in Helen, whether during the day or at nighttime. For dinner on our first night, we ate at the Heidelberg, one of the most iconic restaurants. It was a hike to the top, but it was definitely worth it for the best views of King Ludwig's Beer Garden and the lights of downtown Helen. After enjoying some bratwurst, we headed back to walk around Helen and just really take in the sights. The sun was setting and it was beautiful outside. We headed into some shops and even planned where we were going to have dinner the next day. We enjoyed the Christmas lights and really just had such a romantic evening. The Wildwood Shop was a great indoor-outdoor market with so many different things made by locals. Then we did some shopping of more German items such as steins and nutcrackers. On our second day, we passed by Two Tire Tavern on our way to Hofer's for lunch. When we got to Hofer's, we were really surprised at what we saw. They had so many different things. They had different meats, cheeses, and they even had a gift vault with all different German themed gifts. After we headed out of the gift vault, we noticed that they even had some German magazines. They had so many different authentic German things on the menu, and we enjoyed the chicken schnitzel delight. It was our first time having schnitzel, and it was so good I didn't even take a picture before we dug in. For dessert, we had donuts, and I even dipped my donut in coffee, which was actually really delicious. Hoffers also had an outdoor seating area, which would have been great if the weather was just a little bit warmer. Next up, we headed to Charlemagne's Kingdom and stopped by the windmill for some pictures first. This would be a great place to stay for couples. When we got into Charlemagne's Kingdom, we saw the gorgeous mini mountain town. Our next stop was Betty's. I didn't really know what to expect when I went into Betty's, but as soon as I walked in, I was not disappointed. They had everything you could ever need or want. They had locally made everything, and they even had cookies as big as your hand. Next up, we did some shopping of various honey and different candy, and we really just were kind of hungry at that point. So our next stop was Mueller's Fried Cheese Cafe. 
Now don't let the name fool you, it was actually delicious. We had the ham and cheddar and it was so good. Our next stop was the glass blowing shop where they had live demonstrations. After that, we headed to the Georgia Mountain Coaster, which we were a little bit nervous about at first, but once we saw the view, we knew we had to ride it. It was such a gorgeous view on top of the mountain. This coaster was really unique because the rider had brakes that they could use to control how fast or slow their coaster went, which was great on some sharp turns. Afterwards, we checked out some of the candles at the mason jar shop. We headed back into town to Troll Tavern, where we were excited to enjoy our dinner right next to the water. It was such a great view and such a good restaurant too. We got the pub pretzel, which was delicious. And this was the end of our second day in Helen. On our third day, we started at Yona Coffee Company, where you could customize any latte you could imagine. Then, we headed out of Helen and headed about 15 minutes away to the Antique Mall. This Antique Mall had literally everything you could ever imagine. They had soda bottles from over 100 years ago, and it was amazing to look at their wide selection. Next door, we headed to the Habersham Winery, where they have wine tastings indoor and outdoor. Our final stop on the trip was Nora Mills Granary, where they made their own grits and sold other local products. They made all of their grits in the store, and it was really cool to see the whole process. Thanks for following along on my trip to Helen, Georgia. I hope you enjoyed watching everything I did and got some great ideas.